Alright, welcome to another quick little uh, tutorial. Um, Dan Pegg over at the iPad Musicians Group had, re had asked about using Tone Stack to process his guitar that's plugged into his um, Mac via audio interface. And so I'm going to just try to do a quick tutorial and show how that um, could work. Um, hope maybe it'll give him a better um help him make a better decision on whether to buy that or go with something like iConnect MIDI or something like that. So um you're gonna want to if you do get it, if you're gonna want it to download the um software, the server over at the MIDIMUX.com and I'll allow you to plug in your iPad via the camera connection kit. Um and it'll work inside a powered USB hub. And I have that hub plugged into my Mac. Um, and then the only other thing I did was create a aggregate device um, under the audio MIDI setup and just added my fast track and my iPad. iPad has 18 ins and two outs. And I'll show that in just a minute. And then load up Logic, check your audio, and have the fast track. Okay, and then already I have a audio file loaded up. Um, I'm on mono, and the input I'm using for my guitar is 19, and that's input one on my fast track duo. Um, because Audio Studio Mux has 18 inputs. The first two are the like the stereo mix of the whole thing, and then three and four, five and six, seven and eight are both stereo pairs. Um, <coughs> to the uh, inside the app which I'll show in just a minute um, and so and then if you go audio units zero debug studio effects mono that will bring up the studio mux um, plugin which you'll install previously and then iPad I have loaded up Studio Mux and then if you want to uh, load in plug in just effects no, not audio unit inner out scroll down to tone stack and just drop it in number two that let's pick a just a Texas blues preset and go back into studio mux and get grab my guitar and see how there's audio coming in for that first channel that's because in Logic, um, it's sending and receiving in channel one. So I can select, go over here, um, and select tone stack, and select tone stack. Um, because it's receiving from tone stack, and it's it's sending to tone stack and receiving from tone stack. And you can see now it's on channel two. All right. Uh, let's turn. processing it just fine this is an acoustic that's why there's a the hum that's in it um, let me turn it up to you okay and 
so in order to record that in In order to record that in, what I'll need to do um, is bust that out with Alt. Then I'll create another audio input. And that input's going to be bus 1. And we'll let you go out stereo 2 and 3 as well. Record enable. All right, so now I can just press, should be able to just press record. stop it and then you will notice oh, let me focus that let's see let's solo the top one oh, now it's doing why is it doing that let's see because oh, I'm inputting into it so Okay, so without the effect being plugged in, um, audio one or channel one is going to record a dry signal. Um, that's why we bus it over to a second audio. Now, if we solo that, we'll get the audio, the wet signal. So, I guess that, yeah, that's it. Um, and I didn't do anything else on the iPad. Um, that's how it stayed set up the whole time. It just, um, I always use a different channel than one because channel one seems to have its own little things. Um, that's about it. But, um, really cool app uh, I don't use it that often um, but uh, it definitely will could work out um, and it's uh, I think it's a good buy and it's worth having in the arsenal so uh, thank you very much for watching uh, like comment subscribe let me know if there's any other videos I can do and um, I'll talk to you later